And so this was the big one, the Jerry Marshall Trophy Part 2, a two driver race lasting 50 minutes with the grid decided by the result of a 15 minute sprint race the evening before, which we didn't finish because of a driveline vibration. This meant we were one of the faster cars but down in 23rd on the grid. Team owner Derek Hood decided that I would start, which made me smile, until I remembered that I'd only driven the car for two laps and had never done a practice start, so I tried a sneaky one of those coming out of the holding paddock. The Rover was so easy off the line, and a combination of some bad starts and a lucky gap in the pack meant I snuck past several cars into turn one, and from that point on, it was simply a case of getting through the pack as fast as I could, but as cleanly as possible. I had some brilliant dices. I'll shut up now and let you watch. Look at those cars and the way they slide and listen to them. Isn't this what racing is all about? Insanely fast minis hassling Camaros, gaggles of Capris slewing about the place. If some of the onboards are a bit fuzzy, it's because the SD1 still had a vibration at speed and the GoPro isn't infallible.
Another rover was going very well too up front, young Tiff Nadell, who was using his special nudge technique at the fastest corner. I think Dave Clark pitted for new underwear after that one.
It was a brilliant fun stint. And when I handed over to Chris Ward, we were up into fifth place. And then a safety car came at the perfect time as a Dolomite sprint was mopped up. And this left us in third. Some of the drivers down there, the safety car is out for that. Uh... restart was slithering mayhem but Chris was immediately on the back of the mini within a lap and passed him into Woodcut. Then it was a case of catching and passing the Bastos Camaro with touring car driver Matt Neal behind the wheel. 
He couldn't have tried harder or been much more spectacular, but Chris couldn't get past the big, smoky American. So we had to settle for second place, which still made us smile. What do you reckon? P2 from pretty much the back? That'll do. Take a bit of that? That'll do. I'll take a bit of that. That's a good day's work. The sun's out, we come second in a rover. Okay, a uh, little round up because before we have a beer or a cup of tea, we need to understand how close we were to glory. It was quite glorious being almost last and coming second. I think I did all right, but this is the man who got us right to the point. Oh, but it's a teamwork at the end of the day. Okay, isn't it? okay. You started, brought us from 13th up to 5th, uh, and then uh, I finished off. So. so, where the safety car helped us, we, we won a bit of time on the safety car. In the pits, you wouldn't be aware of the fact we were trying to calculate because where you were in terms of road position yep. didn't make sense, did it? No. They didn't really pick the leaders up, no, so we, we were robbed. Right in the back yeah, of the train, so you so. robbed some time. There, we were, I think we were lucky, but then once you got on the back of the Mini, you dealt with him in a corner, yep. and then you were just straight after the Camaro. It was awesome. Um, I mean, you can't, it's just down to the good boys with uh, JD, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they put into the car, you know how bad it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, they put in the really good. Yeah. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look, there's always, there's always one, isn't there? Needles, interrupt. Needles, interrupt. Needles is here. Needles, by the way, is probably going to go to the steward of the race now. I've seen him. Because, I've he, <laughs> because he got told off and being a bit normal. It wasn't me. It was Mr. Clark. I was there. So have you got away with it? Yeah. Really? I, saw, I heard it was the most outrageous move they've ever seen here. Well, that's because you listen to gossip too much. <laughs> so class, you're obviously a gossip columnist for glasses. Are that. you replacing Jeremy on the show? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah? Have you got the contract? Have you got the well done, Tim. Well done. Yeah, mate. Pleasure. Thank you. Nice to have a race. I like I beat you on fast lap by about 700 or something. Mm -hmm. so. I've had the fastest lap for about 20 years. So, so, so you got you got within 700 of him with a misfire? Yeah, uh, yeah but misfire's helped me out here because it allows the throttle not to be so fresh fish as it comes in softer. I wish I had a misfire. <laughs> Just yeah, an extraordinary, extraordinary human being. Right, so, so, so <laughs> oh, bye mate. The, we've got we, we've got um, safety car that helps us, but then we've got a developing misfire on the car yep. that wasn't helping through. You said who right-handers? No, right. Obviously, the predominance of corners here are right-handers. So yeah. right the way from the first corner, long straight, that was causing me problems, and mainly through Lavent and down the back straight because it was just cop, 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 cop. Um, and then as you straightened up, away it went again. So brakes okay? Brakes were fine. Yep. Yeah. The car behaved very well from a handling point of view. Yeah. And uh, a bit like your style, the sideways all the way through. So. Good for me, good for the crowd as well. Yeah, yeah, mega. So, can we can we persuade Derek to let us do it again next year? I think we should. Yeah, okay, right. Well, we've got to get on that top step again. We did it last year. We've so got to do it again this year. We will uh, we'll do some persuading, but wicked fun. I mean, just a great race week. Oh, no, what awesome. a way to yeah. start the year. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.